Hello folks, Fanatic here with a new video for you, why not? <laughs> uh, this time again we're gonna talk about uh, lineage, uh, maybe in future time we're gonna talk about Chia, but uh, for the moment uh, lineage again. Uh, so what happened in this time? We got a new update, pretty big update I must say. Uh, we're already in the master class, but we do have this update called Tales of Hero. Explore the history of Lineage 2. Work together with the Tales of the of Hero. Uh, collect the tales, learn about the key historical figures and enhance your characteristics. The more information you obtain, the greater your help, attack and defense stats become. So we have here already five chapters that uh, is from this new update. We have uh, chapter one and um, Longing for a immortality, Emperor Mbaim evoked the wrath of the gods and was imprisoned for a whole eternity. His son, Intensa, was unable to retain power and thus made a deal with the devil. Maybe. Chapter 2 The fire dragon Valakas is one of the six ancient dragons, the first children of Shilla. Almost no mortal weapon can pierce the dragon's skin. The nickname, uh, nickname is got in uh, the floating flame uh, doom for the fire he breathes is the deadliest wounded in the battle with the gods Valakas became obsessed with revenge now he can be found in his lair full of anger and hate okay he's uh, pissed off i think uh, so all right then also you're gonna need a very big level uh, and very big party to go to Valakas lair so I'm not there yet, <laughs> like not even me, I need more level to do that. Okay, chapter 3. The water the dragon Fafurion is one of the first dragons of Enchilin's uh, offsprings. For many years he slept in the depths of the Inadriel Sea, but uh, not long ago the sea evil uh, awakened to take revenge on the inhabitants of the land. So once again he's upset, he's upset also. So, Valakas is upset, uh, Fafurian is upset, okay, everybody is upset, everybody, I think, uh, Superior is the um, refugees of the giant that uh, save uh, the, these people in the war against the gods in the old days. They say that the fortress had uh, been divided into three parts that were hidden somewhere on the continent. Okay, and chapter 5. Toti used to be a huge axe, a weapon into the hands of uh, Bren Mon. But rumor has, uh, has it that Toti has uh, had absorbed the power of a demon named uh, Kanak Sus and gained his own conscience. Now he is a faithful servant of Shilin, showing his discord and suffering in order to please his lady. Okay, so I think this is a love story, uh, as I understand, a big boy. Uh, loves his lady, uh, uh, pretty down forward, I think. <laughs> so, basically, these are the, the tales. Like uh, the tales tell uh, more uh, info. If this information I got it. Uh, if you are new here, uh, this uh, I'm playing on the core server, that is European official server. Uh, maybe on uh, Kronos or other servers uh, it will be slightly different, but more or less the game version now is the same for all updates. With some uh, region specific uh, changes that may occur to your uh, specific server, that is true also. I don't know exactly what they'll do in uh, those servers. I do know that some names and uh, things have been changed, like just the names of the region, like if you come like in core, it is called Contest, not Death Throne, for example. So other changes, if you come here, you're gonna see that they, they exist and <laughs> they are. So other. <laughs> okay. So basically, you can read also the uh, uh, the patch notes because it's very important. Patch notes where you can find. It's just you take the game. Now I'm recording this, it's uh, Wednesday, so it's still not uh, done the maintenance. But you can go here, uh, where it is. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. We have here, uh, there's a link. Bah, 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 bah. 
master class chapter three patches there you go so you go here and just read about this uh, all the information that they implemented it's like uh, like right now I just want to do like a quick look on it and just uh, tell you my opinion on, on this like what I think uh, it's a good update uh, I want to update uh, my personal view I want also the update with uh, orcs I know it will come uh, what exactly it's uh, orc raider I think it is called I don't know uh, because this I'm taking from Korea server there they are a little bit uh, far away also it come to essence server but not to live servers i'm talking about the last uh, race of uh, the newest race for uh, race i call or class i don't know exactly it's a orc that it's on top of one uh, beast so it's a beast lord orc road or a orc raider i don't know how it will be exactly the the, the class uh, called uh, if it will uh, gonna reach uh, live servers but i want this because I like this class a lot and I, I played it a few times and uh, okay let's see if they put to live it will be awesome um, but this is my personal view anyway I'm a Grand Cavatari here this is my class as you can for sure you already know so let's see but for this change anyway it was a big change we do have some uh, some things adjusted here the say, first thing this is the biggest adjustment possible it's like 10,000, that is 4 zero. The, you know, when I see this 10,000, like 10,000, 1 zero, 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 it's exactly what happened to inflation in my country, in Romania. So, in, two, in the year of 2000, we cut exactly four zeros from our currency, and now currency seems to be less numbers, but it's the same thing. <laughs> so, we did not fix anything, we just adjusted the currencies, just poof, we were done like this, because... Uh, it was problematic for my country anyway so, <laughs> so the ex experience was too much it was too much experience but in the long run uh, it was nothing uh, basically you're gonna need a lot more experience to level if you reach level 112 for example then 113 looks like ages so in any case it's looking like you're doing good but no not really like i was doing like 300 uh, trillion 300 trillion experience per day and that was giving me i don't know uh, one or two mm, one let's say one and a half uh, percentage every day so this was so let's say about half a year more or less depending how how many days i play because you cannot play to the same equivalent each day so for a one one two to one one three normally it would take me half a year if i play every single day but as you well know you see also my videos on uh, youtube here you're gonna notice that i don't play every day and i do have a job that is not playing games and uh, i must go to the job and do it for some years now i think everybody understands uh, i don't have a land job land job means um, to stay in the country my own country and then in the evening play one or two hours like some of my fellows do i found them very fortunate to do that but i'm i'm afraid i cannot do it it will be amazing i think this will be like uh, a dream for me to actually realize this but i tried i tried in my uh, in this year I tried very hard to find a job uh, that was paying good in Romania uh, but no I'm afraid not if you are Romanian and you see this I'm sorry I don't know who you are but the reality is in Romania you cannot survive with this uh, salary so do whatever you can work in another country try your best but here is not yet uh, this is the central i'm not the only country there are worse countries of course i'm just telling you this sorry uh, for my long run because i don't know the main subject of this is uh, lineage so we started with this ten thousand this ten thousand was exactly adjusting the inflation but it refers to experience levels so now you can it looks like you're getting less but <laughs> it's like you're gaining the same thing 
only that it's less numbers which is good actually because some some people they were getting confused so many numbers so many things okay now the test about uh, is informing you about tales of hero if you know or not tales of heroes are uh, this is basically like uh, you experience this um, uh, forbidden uh, scrolls so these scrolls you just collect them and uh, then you can just uh, adjust them until to, to some specific level. For Tales of Hero, the maximum level is 50, and Tales of Hero you can create with materials. This is very good. The crafting rate doesn't exist because it is 100%, which is finally something good. Obviously, it will take a long, long, long and painful time until you do plus 50, but once you do, you do have some bonuses and you gain something from this. So it's not so bad. I mean, it's, it's good. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can see here. So this offers you, I encourage you to also go on the site and uh, read a little bit about this. It's, it gives you some bonuses. They are, they are important. Yeah. But don't forget, this is, whoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why it says here, uh, skill level 200. 200 on the side. Ah, skill level. Ah, okay. I don't know because on the side, on on the on the game already, when you go, it doesn't exist this 200. It exists only 50. Level 50 is the the cap. Ah, I think this is maybe as a reference or a mistake. I don't know. Let's see, because they do give you these bonuses here, quite big bonuses actually. No, on, on the game there is no 200. Maybe if you have 200, it will be too much. I don't know. I don't know about this. In any case, in the game it's until 50. That's it. For the Tales of the Hero. Okay, you see? Tales of the Hero. Okay. Anyway, read this also. Now, ah. Uh, Curse Village, little bit of improvement, so if you've been a bad boy, you're gonna arrive in a Curse Village and uh, some things... Uh, actually, if you are, like, just wanted to observe the Curse Village, you gain some uh, some uh, interesting stuff. You get some supplies. Um, most people, they just take the supplies. You can get one piece of jewelry that is plus six, which is good. But most of people, they just choose the materials because materials uh, they don't exist in the world they just from the store so if somebody would craft these materials I'm talking about potions cocktails and so on and so forth you, you can gain them but it's bound to your account so you cannot sell them and uh, yeah you gain them from something else okay anyway this you're gonna read about Allegro levels uh, PK levels how many people you pk it is written here this for me is not important this is not what i'm doing i'm just playing the game it is not uh, this thing requirements tells you some info important tells you some information here okay some adjustment for uh mages they still have the problem with the critical uh, cap there is a cap so they they made the critical very rare but obviously they did this because once they crit, it's basically over. Uh, so the best way, if you are a wizard or a magician, something like that, some or rogue, whatever, uh, wizard, just make uh, magical critical damage and uh, crit power. The best way to do it, just choose magical critical damage. Once you do it, uh, also, mind you that magical uh, critical power is very good as well, because you don't crit so often. Once you do, it's game over, obviously. Okay, artifacts, again, I, I don't care for the moment. This is stuff that, uh, okay, you're gonna get them. There are some adjustments here. Once again, you're gonna need a lot of Adena for this. I'm just looking for the important stuff. Like I told you, the most important stuff, and you can do it, you can craft it, Tales of the Heroes. And now also, as we see, some uh, zones have been adjusted as well. Adjusted means they're been, they've been uh, 
the mobs have been adjusted in the areas to be more farther away. They don't want for uh, a, a person or two person or a party to take out all the mobs from the area and just kill them. No, they give you experience. They increase the how fast they respawn, but they made it uh, farther and far away from each other. Which is uh, unfortunately, if you want to gather them, yeah. See, if you go with the spear, maybe you can gather them because you do have some aggro. Maybe, 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 maybe. It's harder if you put the macro and then you go there auto attack and just put uh, this aggro. It still doesn't work like it was in the past. Okay, so this was for the mobs, and now the areas have been adjusted in a specific way that, uh, uh, like you go to NPC, you select the area that you're supposed to go. You are 115, you are 110, and 120. There are specific area for your pleasure. Yeah. Also, they little bit uh, done some uh, some changes there. They play a little bit. Uh, they made like a new planchet or something like when you enter, like a new room, which is good. This resembles, uh, reminds me of uh, Cabal, like Cabal, if you do the original Cabal, the first one, uh, Cabal, the game. So once you go, like there are rooms and you have like doors or portals. So same thing they, they implement to Lineage. This is a good idea. This is very good that they did it. Just go. Choose the portal that you like and you go to the specific world. If you don't have the level, you cannot go to the specific world and finish. Which is which is good because now maybe people they want to kill each other and do PK player kill or, or something for pleasure. I I'm telling you, I'm don't I don't play the game in this specific way. I just like to play the game like PvE when it's possible and then finish. And that's it. And uh, hang around with the clan that I'm at, it works. <laughs> And a few gnomes <laughs> as well, but this is basically what I do. I don't find any pleasure in uh, attacking another character. It's correct. Okay, you can attack each other when it's sieges, uh, when uh, you go into Olympiad and this stuff. Obviously, I think it's one of the biggest purpose of the purposes of the game. Yeah. Okay. So once again, read all of this uh, for me. Not everything is important. Um, so, like I said, some areas have been changed. Now you have uh, some uh, new names for them. Also, uh, uh, what you're gonna find uh, that uh, you should, if you have a dragon weapon, once again, you need to have a Dena for this. But if you have a dragon weapon, uh, you can now put soul crystal on. Yes, in Cain, Leona, whatever, you can put two soul crystals like on a Christian, uh, Krishna, Krishna weapon. Uh, this R110 weapon. So once you do it, uh, R100. So, uh, yeah, R110. No, I said correctly. Yeah. So once you do it, the, the power level of that uh, weapon will increase a lot. Uh, this is for dragon weapons and uh, for the. And you can augment them also. And now you can augment the blood stain uh, weapons as well. They did not put this thing with uh, soul crystals because <laughs> I think they are too powerful already. The one uh, blood stain weapon is equal to one uh, dragon weapon uh, without the soul crystals. But, 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 who knows? Maybe in the future they will be changed also. They are still valuable as well. And now you can augment them and you can have a top augment that spot. skill crit or skill uh, critical damage or just critical damage for basic, uh, basic attack, whatever you like. Uh, yeah, so these are the biggest changes that uh, are important to me. If you want to read more, just go there and just scroll around, see whatever they say about this information, and uh, so on and so forth. Now, if you listen to all that I have to say so far, sorry for the long run, I do this every time. <laughs> so, you already, if you come here often, you know this already. Just uh, I'm gonna put like a small montage with the areas that I tested a little bit. I went down to see how it is, how hard are the mobs, is the same or less, or how I'm supposed to do. You're gonna notice that some places I do solo attack, some places I do AOE uh, because of the level of the mobs, they are stronger. 
like you can start very powerful you can uh, resist a long time and then suddenly poof you are dead so you must be careful how you play if you play live you're gonna be gonna get it very fast if you play like me mostly offline like uh, offline i'm online but uh, away from keyboard let's say i'm just putting auto attack and just putting two screens skills there in the macro and that's it it's not uh, I'm just doing the dailies I'm doing online and then the rest just I, I just play around anyway so uh, I'm gonna be gonna be a small montage hope you like it and uh, we see each other in a future video thank you for coming here and signetic out like and subscribe